All right, everyone. I'm just getting to the developer update for January 8th, 2021. Haven't seen anything yet. So I am. Um, everything's fresh to me right now. This is a real live reaction to the developer update. All right, let's check some stuff out. The Clown gameplay update. Kicking things off, the Clown is receiving some changes in the upcoming mid chapter. Our resident funny man has been cooking something up, introducing the Afterpiece Antidote. This new throwable bottle shatters and releases a delayed yellow gas. Anyone who steps in the gas receives a 10% movement speed bonus. Tonics and antidotes by tapping the active ability button at any time. They will also cure any negative effects from the Afterpiece Tonic. Wow, so they... You really got to know what you're doing with clown while using that because you can make a, but a poorly thrown bottle will make the survivor faster as well. Damn. So you really got to know what you're doing, which most of the time I don't when I'm killer. <laughs> uh, but remember if the two gases collide, they will neutralize, neutralize each other and disappear. Reduce the time taken to reload your bottles to three seconds down from five. Reloading will give you four bottles in any combination. You do not need to reload tonics and antidotes separately. Wow. We've done a pass on the clown's add-ons. There's some interesting new combinations in there that we're curious to see what you can do with. That's interesting. I haven't played clown yet, so um, yeah. All the, my clown mains, let me know what you, what this means to you. Oh, whoa, a HUD update? Out with the old, in with the new. We've got all, we've all got some fond memories of the in-game HUD. After four years of additions, we thought it was time to rebuild it from the ground up. Yo, so they're up there now? And does, what is this? For killers, what does this mean? The hook. I guess I gotta watch the actual update, huh? Or it'll probably tell me. But them being up there now, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not getting any uh, like great reaction from it. Wait, why does the killer have a hook, but the survivor doesn't? I don't know. I, get, I honestly prefer him down here, but that's just me. Uh, but that's not all. The hook of the few tricks of his character portraits. No longer will you stare blankly at the generic figures in the corner. Which one is Meg? Which one is Dwight? You'll see the face of the survivor. Oh, that's okay. That's pretty cool. That's that's pretty cool. Um, hook counter in progress. Next to each survivor's portrait, you'll find a hook counter. Where? Oh, I guess they're not hooked, so... Oh, is it the counter right here? Okay, um... I'm having a derp moment right now. Um... Killers will also see me showing their hook progress to give them an idea of how well they're doing. Oh, so that's what that hook up there is. Alright. Are you squinting at a tiny screen? Are you a minimalist who wants the hood to take up as little space as possible? Blah, blah, blah. And to any streamers, don't worry, we didn't forget about you. Put your camera without covering up important hub elements. Now that's that's cool right there. That's pretty cool. All right, we have survivor locomotion uh, animation update, keeping with the theme of updating what's old. Survivor animations as the game moves forward uh, towards a more realistic direction. Inputs as well as your character speed, turn rate, and acceleration. We'll be keeping a close eye on feedback. Oh boy. I don't know, I'm kind of scared. I mean, okay. That theme song, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
looks like she's actually crawling. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that they actually fly when you smack them now. What? They better be using Unbreakable. All right, it still looks kind of janky, but that's cool. That's cool. Matchmaking, rating, and rank rewards. Starting with some good news. Matchmaking, matchmaking ratings are returned in the near future. We're tweaking the systems to our test last year to re-enable skill-based matchmaking for another test soon. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> but that's not all. Once you're happy with the matchmaking ratings and turn the system on for good, rank rewards. 250 at rank 1, 20, 10,000 at 20, 150, two, uh, I'd say 300,000 should have been the rank 1, but whatever. This is cool. They're in rewards for both killers and survivors separately. Oh, that's why they have it the way it is. That's okay. I, I'm a fan of this. I'm a fan of this. The skill based matchmaking. Um. We shall see. We shall see. Graphics update. In case you missed the reveal, the next realms due for a graphics update are the Gideon Meat Plant and the Crotus Print Asylum. Here's a sneak peek at, what to, at what's to come. Ooh. I like. I like. How about Meat Plant? All right. I guess they can't do a whole lot since it's, um, you know, it's... I forgot the word, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> Small quality, quality of life and balance changes. Oh boy, here's what I want. <clears throat> a keen survivor can see the wraith while he is cloaked. Will be changing his cloak shimmer to only be visible when close by. Completely invisible, somewhat visible, unchanged. Towers on the wraith while he is cloaked. Oh, interesting. A small little wraith buff. You stepped in a trap now. What previously you would have a 25% chance to escape a trap each attempt. The four attempts only adds up to a roughly a 68. This makes tra traps pretty unreliable. Or they could try dozens of times without escaping. To combat this, we are switching to f a flat distribution. Every each time a survivor steps in a trap, it will take them between one to six attempts to escape. What does this mean in practice? Between one to three attempts. <clears throat> the chance to escape is lower than before. Add-ons which reduce the chance to escape. Am I going to escape? Am I going to get there in time? Interesting. Deep wounds. Uh, I've gone through a few iterations and once reasonable 30 second timer not seems a little too generous. Generous. Deep wounds. Deep wound timer is now 20 seconds long. The Legion's add-ons that remove deep wound time have been adjusted accordingly. Well, I wanted to add a bit more urgency to mending while also leaving room for edge cases, such as needing to snap out of Madness 3 before being able to mend. Huh. Wow, okay. Oh, my boy Pebble. The time to and simply simplifying its perk tiers to make it more usable at lower levels. Hey, the pebble. <laughs> Fixated. Don't you hate it when you get hit so hard that you forgot how to walk slightly faster? Fixated will now remain active even if you're injured. All right. Oh, boy. There's a few things we like to address. Transferring the same hex multiple times can get out of hands. Hexes are meant to be strong perks that can be destroyed, and having to destroy the same hex four times can be a bit much. Since tokens aren't transferred when a hex changes totems, Undying was unpopular with perks other than Ruin, which does not have any tokens and is immediately at full power. Having our reading on all totems also made a very powerful tracking perk on top of its other effects, and it's a little redundant with Hex Thrill the Hunt. Oh, well, anytime a hex totem is cleansed, it will replace the hex undying totem. Hex undying is then deactivated. This ensures that the first totem cleanse is never your other hex perk. Any tokens you accumulate are now kept 
one of the Hexburg transfers told him this way you're not starting from scratch huh we hope this makes hex perks other than just ruin okay well I never used undying so but that's crazy that's uh interesting let me know how you feel if you could follow up and hit a star within 15 seconds of them so we're in, oh, 30 seconds holy crap damn open handed open handed makes for some interesting builds but the low values meant that you needed to convince other survivors to stack it to see any noticeable results. To make this more appealing, we'll be increasing the R rating range between 8, 12, 16 meters, but limiting you to the effects of one open hand at a time. That one friend who really who really didn't want to run open handed, but did it anyway because the rest of the group wanted to, you're welcome. And last but not least, second wind. Another simple one. We're reducing the time it takes a second wind to heal you after being unhooked. With that, we've reached the next... Okay. Okay. Um, I, uh, I'm a little overwhelmed. <laughs> but I guess there's some good stuff in there. And then there's some other stuff. I'm just kind of like, uh, did that really need a change? Let me know what you think. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.